Marissa Beal, and today we're going to be hitching with the Nashville Technology Council CEO and President, Brian Moyer. Why, hello, Brian. Hi, Carissa. Beautiful day. It is. Nice to have you tracking your ride with Hitch today. My pleasure. With the NTC at the forefront of cultivating the technology industry in Middle Tennessee, what are some of the latest innovations that you're excited about within our region? Oh, gosh. Um, I could get in trouble by... <laughs> mentioning some and not mentioning everything there's a lot going on here um i digital reasoning comes to mind which is doing some really cutting edge stuff in uh, the area of machine learning and artificial intelligence uh, concert uh, genetics is doing uh, some some very progressive work in the area of uh, of genetics we've got um, you know just as exciting as those kind of homegrown companies. We've got people like um, Asurian and Eventbrite and many others that have chosen to move to Nashville, which is which is very exciting and I think talks to the strength of the area. Um, the Center for Medical Interoperability that's doing some, uh, some world-class work to try and solve probably the largest technology challenge that healthcare has today, which is um, the fact that your clinical data does not freely move from one provider to another or from one system to another. So, a lot of very exciting stuff. Our big topic today, as I've got you carpooling with me, hitching a ride, is transportation. <laughs> so, what opportunities do you see for technology to intersect with this big topic that Nashville's finding itself up against, which is transportation? I think a couple of things. Of course, you know, the innovative out-of-the-box thinking for apps like Hitch. Uh -huh. All trying to take advantage of, um, of assets and resources that are being used but aren't being fully used. Mm -hmm. And so I think, that's, I think that's awesome. You know, some kind of no-brainers like I know that Metro recently completed uh, the synchronization of all of or many of the, the traffic lights in the uh, yeah, in the city right. area so just to make driving more efficient by synchronizing the lights I mean gosh what a what a good idea is that uh, to some not so distant future things uh, like autonomous vehicles meaning right. self-driving cars and uh, and self-driving buses which I think holds a, a lot of very exciting future value well that was a great segue because I have a trivia question on that topic that you just brought up about all these robotic cars and such that we could be looking at in the future. So how about we play a little game to make our ride more interesting? I thought we were going to be singing. Would you like to sing? You are more than welcome to do some carpool karaoke right now in this car. I will. What's your song of choice? We'll find it. Have you ever played Bean Boozled? I have not. Okay, what you're going to do is you're going to spin the top and it's going to land on a color bean and it's got two choices there on the top. So what are we working with? I heard you spin it. I did and it's either chocolate pudding or dog food. Wonderful. That's just a great place to start. It's practically dessert. How much money is the robo car sector projected to add to the U.S. economy by 2050? 50 billion dollars. Two trillion. Wow. Isn't that amazing? That's Just a big like number. this bean's gonna be, it's gonna be so, amazing. I have to eat this. Yeah. <laughs> chocolate or does that taste more like dog food than chocolate no no this this is dog food for sure <clears throat> I can smell it. <laughs> mm. this game just a blast I love it <laughs> lime or lawn clippings where did Nashville rank on the recent Forbes article outlining the top cities creating the most tech jobs in 2017 so this study I'm familiar with was late in 2016 so I don't know if we're talking about the same one but in that one we were ranked fourth fastest growing city for tech jobs in the nation well although that is a very good guess we're looking at seventh oh <laughs> 
Tell me if it's lime or lawn clippings. If you'd like. I'll, I'll just, um, and that was lime. That wasn't too bad. That's wonderful. That yeah. kind of gets that dog food taste out of your mouth, I hope, for it's, you. It's good. So how much does the average tech worker make versus the non-tech worker as a percentage? 40 mm, percent. 61 percent. Dang! I'm in the wrong career! Here I go. Mm. Yeah, I feel like I'm brushing my teeth. <laughs> we don't want the same one. There you go. Peach, <laughs> peach or barf? From 2006 to 2016, Nashville technology job growth has increased by how much? Hmm. I know that from 2010, or from, yeah, from 2010 to 2015, it grew 30%. I don't have off the top of my head 06 to 16, but let's just stick with 30%. 75%. Yeah, Nashville. Yeah, that's an impressive I'm, number, I'm going to have it? to revise the number that I quote. For that, I'm willing to eat this. <laughs> oh, that's peach. That's you are bad. really lucking out. You are lucking out. <laughs> I am, I am going to let you spin. Oh, you're going to let me spin? You have yeah. another question for me, huh? I do. All right. You mentioned the study. So I'll, I'll come back with a study of my own. So what was the rank of Nashville in terms of um, cities with the most college age startups? The most college age startups, the rank, I'm going to say fifth. It was third. It was third? Yeah. Ooh, I That's... thought about three. You know, sometimes you should just go with your gut. That's what I didn't do. Now your gut's gonna suffer. It is, my gut's gonna suffer with moldy cheese or caramel <laughs> corn. Can't be that bad. This isn't bad. All right. So thank you again so much for hitching with me today. You've been a wonderful partner and a wonderful sport. My pleasure. Be sure to download the links in the description and hitch a ride to save traffic. Yes, please. And you have a wonderful day. Mm -hmm. Until next time. Thanks. Thank you. Sorry.